The double page spread. A manga layout used to show an impactful scene across two pages and a way for a mangaka to show their artistic chops and a highly detailed and awe-inspiring scene. Today I'll prepare a double page spread layout both traditionally on paper and digitally through Clip Studio Paint X. Starting off with the traditional method, I want to first point out the typical paper I use for drawing single pages. The Leader Comic Book Paper. This is A4 size paper with a really smooth surface for ink drawing and guidelines to make sure you draw in frame of cutoff marks in final publishing. If you want to replicate a single page for yourself without buying the paper, the cutoff guidelines takes off about 1.5 cm from the top and the bottom each and 1 cm from each side. But ultimately we need the single page to find the dimensions needed for the double page. And this paper is about 21 centimeters in width and 29 and a half centimeters in length. So to get a double page spread, you need dimensions similar to 29 and a half centimeters in length and 42 centimeters in width. For my actual spread paper, I'm using 11 by 17 inch Bristol board paper, another really smooth paper for inking comics. In centimeters, this is 43 centimeters in width and 28 centimeters in length. But to adjust from the original dimensions, after some math, we need around a 28 centimeter long and 40 centimeter wide paper. So this paper has a little extra width to it. We'll measure out 3 inches to the side to edit out later. You just have to make sure the proportions are adjusted for the size paper you're moving to. You can even cut your own custom size paper, but 11 by 17 is a common size to buy at the art supply store, so this may be more accessible. After you have the dimensions of the whole page, you can measure out the cutoff marks. Since the dimensions are really similar, I'm going to overestimate the cutoff marks at 1.5 cm on the top and bottom and 1 cm on each side again. Now the difference here is that instead of putting the cutoff marks in the middle of the two pages, I'm just going to put the side cutoff marks on the ends of each side. This way you can know where the page ends, but you can draw one cohesive picture without chopping it up. You can later adjust the cutoff areas and split the pages digitally, but I think it's easier to draw one full picture before splitting. After doing the guidelines, the cutoff marks should be 2 cm from the side each and 1.5 cm from the top and the bottom. And then you can draw your double page spread. If that wasn't straightforward enough, the digital method on Clip Studio Paint X is even more simple. Just open up your comic file with multiple pages, right click the pages where you want your spread, and click combine pages. And voila, a double page spread with guidelines built in. The digital method is definitely more expedient, but I like having the option to go traditional as I feel more at home with putting initial marks and details to edit later on the computer, but it's just personal preference. After setting up your layout, you can finally draw your biggest scenes to pay off your wonderful stories. And that's a wrap. If you're interested in learning more about making manga and comics, feel free to check out my other videos linked below. I'll see you next time.